Welcome to Archetypes. I'm Lee Woodruff, and we're here today with Basilica Ahn. Basilica is a teen philanthropist, and she's also the UN ambassador. I'm the UN youth champion for their Girl Up campaign. Which is a big deal. Tell us about that. Last September, I sent an email to the UN Foundation, and I basically said, like, hi, I would like to work with you. I put a little bit about myself and, like, my own foundation, and then I basically like, sent it off. Six months later, I get an email, and they said, we want you to represent girls' education and empowerment abroad. How does that sound to you? And I was like, well, that sounds perfect. And they said, well, you're not a celebrity, like a, a normal UN Goodwill ambassador, but you're not just a normal teen, so how would you feel about creating a program at the UN um, and the UN Foundation where we can get other girls to be advocates for our causes? The Girl Up campaign is about four years old now. Uh, we work with Ivanka Trump, Victoria Justice, Nigel Barker, and Rebecca Sony as our um, national champions. Those are our big celebrities that um, help the campaign. And then it's me and eight other high school and college um, girls. So the bottom line is empowerment of girls. So it's Absolutely. taking girls from an early age and trying to imbue them with a sense of what their lives can be? Absolutely. I think that you know you look at these countries like Ethiopia and Malawi where we are on the ground and we're working. All you hear are these, you know, this is all the problems that these girls have. They can't do this. They can't do this. And yes, so much of that is true. The, the girls do walk six hours a day to get water. They do need parents to believe in their education. They do need water and medicine. But at the same time, they're still, you know, 13-year-old girls, 14-year-old girls. They have the same potential we do here in America. They've got that same spirit, that same desire to learn. And those are the stories that I want to communicate. I want someone to believe in those girls the way they believe in our girls here at home. And that's pretty much the overall goal of the campaign is to inspire American girls and European girls to raise funds for girls in these African and South American nations. You are not the average 19-year-old girl by any means. Your your compatriot, <laughs> your counterpart right now is listening to Katy Perry, chewing gum oh, and I texting. Oh, I listen to Katy Perry. If you saw my running playlist, it is Katy Perry all the way. Okay, but you just said it, running playlist. So you're not just sitting in your room daydreaming about what you're going to be someday. You're already doing it. Thank I want to know how you became such an exceptional teenager. Um, I really have to give that one to my parents. Like I know that probably sounds like a cliche answer, but something they were really good about was limiting how much I was given and always telling me, you know, if we're going to buy you this doll, you have to give one away. And it all, they always said, like, we could buy you this, but then you're not going to want it when you're older. So we're going to buy you one, and you can want the other one. And I think they've just always instilled that desire in me to want to achieve things for myself. And something my mom always told me was, your successes aren't material successes. They're the impact and the lesson you left on someone else. It's what you did in the world. So when you tell me that you're successful, I want to read one day that my daughter changed this and my daughter did that. So that I really have to give to mom. So did your project, Change the World in 30 Minutes, come from that um, sort of challenge from your mom in some way? I think it did, but at the same time, I want to inspire other girls to have an education. I want to get kids to believe in themselves. I want to run the world at one point or another. So the message really is to girls, you have choices. There isn't one right path. There absolutely not. And you can not. mix and match a little bit. It's not even about mixing and matching. It's If it's your dream, it's the right dream. And I think that's what a lot of people forget is there's never going to be one way. There's never one way to be successful. And I think that the stigma of the American dream it's gotten lost. We have this image of you have to go to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Stanford. Then you have to bank your lawyer, doctor. By the time you're 26, you get a six-figure salary. And by the time you're 30, you should get the seven-figure salary and the white picket fence and the perfect husband or wife and two kids. And I think at a time, yeah, maybe that was very possible or that very was a very like golden path to the American dream. But I think in our generation, we have to take a step back and really look at it and say, is that really attainable? 27 million kids applied to college last year. Can you tell 27 million girls and boys, if you don't do this, you're going to fail, fail in life, or you're going to fall flat in your face, and you're never going to be someone? I have, like I said, Tiger Mom Asian family. We're super about education. They you know, were refugees, and they made it in life. And for them, their American dream was seeing me at a Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Stanford, doing it the more traditional way. And, and I took a year off of school. And I, I'm going to you know, go to an entrepreneurship university, and I'm going to be my own boss, and I'm going to carve out my own path. And that's terrifying to them. 
But um, I think that that's the right way to do it for me. And I think that for another girl, you'll have a very different way to do it. And for another guy, you'll have a very different way to do it. But I think what's great about this day and age is it's the first time where you can be 19 or 26 or 28, you know, if you're Mark Zuckerberg or something, and sit in a room with Warren Buffett, who I think is like that iconic image of my mom's generation of success. And you walk in and you say, who do I talk to first, Zuckerberg or Buffett? And you've never had that in American history before. You've never had a period of time where, you know, you don't, it's not age is wisdom anymore. I think it's wisdom as a whole is wisdom. And if you're successful, you're successful. So, you know, champion your own trail and, and blaze your own trail because you really can. And I think that we have this luxury and I want kids to see that. I want them to see that you have so many opportunities. The jobs might not be out there, but create them. Like I know that sounds naive, but who's going to stop you from creating them? Don't complain about it, do something about it. And I wanna leave that message with kids that you have so much potential. The only time you're limited is when you limit yourself. At least that's what mom taught me. Great words of wisdom from Basilica on. Thank you so much for being here. Thank I know you you're gonna so change much the for world. Having me. Thank you, and thanks for watching Archetypes.